प्रेजेंटेड बाय शक्ति भोग आटा देश का नंबर वन आटा हेलो एंड अ वेरी वार्म वेलकम टू न्यू एज पेरेंटिंग वी आर मीटिंग आफ्टर फ्यू वीक्स बट देन वी हैव बीन कनेक्टेड थ्रू ईमेल्स एंड थ्रू इंटरनेट Yes holidays are over the new session is there studies are, have started we've gone through the trips and we've gone through the cruise there's a good bonding between parents and children but conflicts are still there we're trying to fight those conflicts but time now to really ease them out and create harmony in the house and that is possible through open talking open communication open soul searching so let's move over to soul searching In our soul searching segment today we have two very special guests we have Vanya Agrawal who is a student of Manav Rashna school and we have Shikha Agrawal a mother and daughter team a very warm welcome to both of you hello uh, Vanya Shikha ready for the battle yeah. <laughs> no we are not going to battle it out but we would like to know actually that what is our reality why so many conflicts you know we want to be the best for our child of course and we want to really respect our parents then why the conflict and today's subject what we have taken is uh, social life of teenagers right. so vanya do tell me what is the need to be really socially connected always all the time it's like um, we connect with the same age group so we relate to them better than we relate to our parents if they you know divide the time equally it's fine you were there for 5 hours in school with your friends okay so there's something important to discuss you come and do that but what is all this like all the time whatsapping snapchatting this that means sometimes i feel more than me what's happening with her or what's happening in my house the people around know it like i suddenly open the facebook thing and there's something which uh, just happened at my place and the world is reading about it and commenting on it so this is like more of a show off that's what i think but today uh, the world is all about show off if you don't show off people will think i don't know what from which planet you have come from no but why the need to really show off what uh, what satisfaction do we get people think that you are really nice and stuff because you know they come and like oh my god you went to this man like yes i went to this place and then they, people talk about it so there you right. get a masala to talk <laughs> yeah. there's a subject to yeah. talk you know so you <laughs> don't have subjects to talk or you the need to talk is so much i think the need to talk is so much <laughs> because you know it's like at this age you're very talkative i feel i'm very talkative i keep on talking 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 and my teachers also irritated with me that why now please stop talking but you know there are things which we keep on talking and sometimes we also feel that What do we talk about when you go to think that like we were think, talking for two hours? I'm like, what were we talking about? It was like that. <laughs> <laughs> And how many hours are we as parents on? Even fathers also when right, they come back, right, when right. the sports channel is there, and then they just don't even blink yeah, their eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So how many I hours? I agree. Are I agree. Now, since you're pointing out that, uh, of course, this uh, sets somewhat an example for them. As such, it may not be good for us also. Yeah, you know, we sometimes can because we are in that gossip. Uh, thing right right so right. vanya okay mm. accepted that you've got these you, this generation has got <laughs> this habit of remaining connected with yeah. your peers is through the parents sometimes mm. okay <laughs> but now we need to know that yeah you ask yourself mm -hmm. that what we talked mm. so do you really want to remain and waste your time no, yeah, yeah you need up. some fun at least you know always studying studying gets too monotonous and irritating so this is our style of distraction by dogging on the phone and using these so always media. getting distracted ha huh? yeah <laughs> most of the times getting distracted 90% distraction and 10% work <laughs> yeah and But the lure is so much that you know it is like theek hai uh, homework thoda kal school ja kar kar lenge so be pan ye zaruri hai to finish this chat or this talk or get into the gossip mode of the group chat and things like that so that is like more uh, prioritized right but i don't think i'll realize i'm doing something wrong till i get like i score really bad right so now so you cannot wait for that <laughs> so, <laughs> but i need a eye opener right now i'm fine with my studies so i do not realize and i'm feeling like i feel that i'm fine right now what am i doing but then this is the time also one when we are actually making our habits yeah yeah so maybe we are getting into this habit that a uh, waste thoughts or uh, you know like something which creates your adrenaline is more mm -hmm. important rather than the most important part of my life another aspect which i wanted to talk about which is a big conflict is uh, sleepovers mm -hmm. and parties no, no. yeah i no, want no, to know no, what no. really happens 
see your fine, point of view. Uh, mm -hmm. My point of view is like sleepers, you're meeting friends, you're chatting so much, you're already so addicted to them all the time through various sources. But a sleepover is a complete no no for me. Because you can say the kind of exposure even we've been given through movies, television, internet nowadays, there's always a fear factor there, frankly. Today, I do not trust anyone with anything. And frankly, having a girl child, I'll always say a no for sleepovers. Why are you telling no to me? I know they are my friends and I know they are good. That is why I am with them. Otherwise, I wouldn't be them, with them, you know. Uh, they say you do not trust us. In fact, the children should trust their parents that whatever we are doing or guiding or asking them not to do or do is for their welfare, welfare and not us. Vanya, this is very important. Trusting. Mm -hmm. Both the sides are not trusting each other. Yeah. You love your parents. Yeah, you know, true. you would do anything. You want them to be happy mm -hmm. and proud of you. This much we know. This yeah. much all the parents know. <laughs> yeah. And we really are very thankful to you. Yeah. But why don't you people trust the parents? Because we trust our friends more than our parents. Why? Because they are more approachable than our parents. Okay. Why don't we trust our uh, See, uh, to some extent we do trust. In fact, we completely do. But somehow we do not trust the surroundings, the people they are with, because you do not know them in and out. Yeah. See, if she says I'm with a friend who's there since the second grade or the third grade or whatever, X, Y, Z, okay, even I know her quite well. But uh, you notice when they come into ninths and tenths, suddenly their groups change. change. Their priorities change. It's like... I think, uh, I don't know, they, it's like a completely different thing for us to accept also. Abita till she was 13, 14, she preferred going out with us. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, mom, you can carry on. I'll prefer going there or mm -hmm. here or whatever. It's like that. Yeah, so so it's difficult for us to accept also. Yeah, but they have accepted it so beautifully. So they don't trust the environment around you mm -hmm. and you prefer to trust your, pet, uh, your friends. Today we are talking about the social life of a teenager and we have Vanya and Shikha. Vanya told us that uh, they have more trust in their friends than parents. Why is that so? Because it's like whenever you go to approach your parents, first they are like all like good, you come talk to us, we are our friends only, we are just like your friends. But then when you go to them, they really get angry about the thing like for example once I went for a party or something and personally I did not feel I felt uncomfortable there because there was these uh, you know hookahs and there were drinks and stuff I came back and I just shared my experience with her as a friend thinking that you know she wants me to behave as a friend with her and she just got angry that now you're not going to such parties and I'm like I did not do anything I just came back but I was feeling uncomfortable but she was like, no, you're not going anymore to such parties. Okay. So we as parents, yes, we want to give them that freedom. What really happens when they start sharing? Um, we want to give them the freedom, but uh, to a certain extent in the sense when they know what they want to do or they do not want to do. This is not the age to get into preferences according to the other person. Hmm. You need to make your own identity. So when you're sure on that, only then you can do that because again getting getting into relationships is like revolving around that person only for sub coach it's like gone with the wind whether it's studies whether it's uh, your own identity whether your it's, it's your own looks the way you walk the way you talk everything is according to that person why the need to have a boyfriend yeah because let's I try to find out i don't know because from before my age or like when people were my age before like that time only they started this trend of this boyfriend and it's going on till now. So it's like and following it's the become trend. a trend that you have to have a boyfriend or otherwise you know you're not cool but though some people prefer to not have one. You should have that standing that uh, I am fine without one. I am the cool one yeah. without one. We all want to be different. Hmm. Unique. Being unique is being completely different from what people are. So again you'll feel awkward in so many like people are same and suddenly you're like everybody are wearing black and you're in pink. It will be like very wow. awkward. Pink, it might look good on you. <laughs> <laughs> it, look good. No, it might give you that purity, you know, that in, in all that but black, people will give you that color. staring at you, you know, why huh? is she wearing pink? So like, maybe you're just staring you know? in awe. They're not staring like, oh my God. It, it's like, but wow. There are chances they, of they, the they first option. They might say, oh. You know, <laughs> like, What's wrong with the guy? Is she trying to show off? Like, is she trying to stand? I know? feel you, if you have the confidence to carry that thing, nobody's going to say that. If you show you're uncomfortable, People are going to say, oh my god, what are you doing? What so are you, you wearing? So you want to be unique, to be odd. Mm. 
rather than being like oh my god she is different yeah. <laughs> is that so yeah so mm -hmm. how do we change as a parent i think somewhere because we continue to change work on their personalities we continue uh, to change work on their you know relationships we continue to work on their surroundings rather than on their inner you know like these conflicts that if we can give them the confidence that being unique even if you're not being odd you can always convert your uh, uh to odd yeah, you know being yeah, odd yeah. and how is that possible as a parent do we understand because i think that's what we have, we need to give them the confidence right um that's quite uh, this thing to think about but i think uh, it is this the way we put in their self confidence how they're going to you know be confident about themselves and i think they can uh, manage it everywhere I so we need to boost their confidence rather than you know make them like but can we boost their confidence by constantly telling them that what are you doing why are you doing this <laughs> don't do that <laughs> i feel the parents like the children at home where the parents are continuously pressurizing them and keeping up keeping them at home that don't go there don't go that don't do that or something like that those children in school are the ones who have these boyfriends and they you know turn into what they are not before we uh, take your leave is one thing that when they come to know when the parents come to know and you know that the parents have come to know do you feel elated or do you feel hurt do you feel sad that my parent has gone sad it's like mixed emotions that you're like oh my god they got to know you get scared that we'll now they grounded now <laughs> they'll shout at you and then they'll not let you go out and stuff and then you feel bad that you lied to them and you were doing all this stuff behind their back so mixed emotions and uh, as a parent you know when you realize that my god i trusted or whatever i'm saying this thing was happening do we go into an introspection or do we really hate the kids Mm, of course you cannot hate your child or matlab you get angry of and course, get hurt but you will get hurt and you uh, think the first thing comes to your mind is how do i punish her or how do i ground her mm. okay, okay i'm going to take away her phone for a month or so no uh, like you know no telephones for uh, this whole year for the 10th or something but uh, then becoming so repulsive of course backfires on you and then goes the silence of the house and things like that but of course the first reaction is like how do i punish her then and you then realize oh she's a teenager i cannot do ki chalo you know shut her down or something like that no that's not possible then, then so do we go through the introspection sometimes that maybe you know was i wrong or uh, we've given up on introspection no we do we do that ki i my my you know then i try to understand like i try to think that maybe i was wrong somewhere and then i try to deal that in that ways if i need to apologize of course i will if i've gone really wrong because sometimes if i really get wild she comes and tells me i like really really get wild at her like everyone's are like please mel it down it's like that but then of course then uh, later on i realize uh, i shouldn't have been so aggressive on her and then uh, you think over and try to think on there but then again there are do's and don'ts certain things are not allowed Co uh, yeah conflicts are there because of the personality you know traits mm -hmm. and if we expect as a parent that my child is going to have my personality traits we are wrong because they are independent beings yeah. i'm not saying they're mature but they are independent, independent beings who will have their own thought process but then today at least we were able to bring out the conflict that you know what is there in the parent's mind and what is there in the child's, child's mind. mind and of right. course there are ways to really combat that yeah. and that is possible through spirituality through another angle and of course we will be doing mapping these conflicts with shikha and vanya thank you so much for this open source searching yes once we are comfortable we have another person around us yes we are able to open up and in this open talking open communication so much comes up you know there are fears of parents there are these mistrusts of children they need to be to remain bonded with their peers why we as parents need to understand yes they can have their aspects we can have our own fears but once we have this communication out and open both of us gradually will understand from where we are coming and then spirituality can lead us to another option maybe whatever i am saying the kind of restrictions i am putting and the kind of uh, you know rebelliousness the child is portraying is not needed maybe if both will understand what is the spiritual significance of the child 
going out and becoming social, we might be able to have another solution. So time now for spiritual significance. The journey of learning and interaction with others start at birth for every being. We are social beings. We interact with others according to our present surroundings and also on the basis of our past karmic relations. Your child is also one such independent being. In the beginning, the child may interact within the surroundings, but as he or she grows, he'll bond with people whom he or she has some past karmic account. They would like to have their own set of social circle, which is not an effort to move away from parents or a sign of disrespect towards them. It's simply part of the journey of the individual soul. What we as parents, as role models, can do is to cultivate the same social ethics which we want our child to have. Because invariably, child follows parents. At times we do forget that the child is an independent being and because we take the role of a parent uh, too literally and we realize that oh he or she is my responsibility but spirituality brings us the reality that even if he or she is my reality my responsibility he or she has their own journey journey of life where they will have their own learnings and for that I'll have to let go. But how much to let go and how much to be there? What to do and what not to do? For that we have mapping these conflicts. So time now to map the conflicts. Child's view. We need to remain connected with our friends because they understand us and make us feel wanted. Parents view. Their need to remain connected with their friends is like an addiction. Friends massage their ego and it's an opportunity to show off. Need for understanding is just an excuse. Solution. Rather than accusations, understanding their need for attention will help your child bond with you better. Once they realize the futility of looking outside for love and recognition, they will automatically come back to parents. Child's view. We have more trust in our friends than our parents because they are not judgmental. Besides, we all are going through the same phase of life. Therefore, mutual understanding and bonding is much better. Parents view. We trust our children but not external influences. They are still innocent and can easily be diverted. Solution. Even if parents are judgmental, peers cannot be the solution provider as they are not mature enough. Trusting your parents' advice will help you build a personality where you will learn to discern and choose wisely all your life. It has been a great journey of New Age Parenting. We are learning every day new things. In fact, I just learned another aspect when the child is in the womb and I would like to share before I leave is that the mapping or the genetic coding of the child's brain starts happening from the 22nd week. So all those parents out there who are expecting their baby start thinking positively. That is why it's very important to remain calm and positive. It's not just a phrase or a term when the a woman or the mother is pregnant but it is a reality because there's a creation which is happening within the body and it's my responsibility not only when the child comes out but when the child is within me to give that child the right kind of emotions the right kind of vibrations if you have any query any thought or if you have any suggestion you're welcome we can uh, connect on email and we can or you can also call us so till the time we meet again enjoy parenting this we will be able to achieve through the wonderful set of teachers and staff members that we have here who are working relentlessly, who are giving their best, their 100% to bring all the aspects of humanity alive in children. Yay!